Hi, I'm Rob Zare with Heroku Product Management, and today I'm here to talk about how Heroku helps you build apps that leverage Salesforce data. For teams building apps in Salesforce Lightning or in Heroku, easy access to data is often top of mind. But building, configuring, and managing custom integrations is time consuming and error prone. You have to manage field mappings, plan for sudden traffic spikes, and of course keep all the data secure. Heroku Connect makes all this easy for you. It's a fully managed data integration service that provides bi-directional synchronization between Heroku Postgres and Salesforce. Easily configured with a point-and-click UI, it's simple to get the service up and running in minutes. No coding or complex configuration is required. Common use cases include data analysis and archiving, externalizing heavy compute, and unifying data across multiple Salesforce orgs, just to name a few. And once your Salesforce data is synced into Heroku Postgres, guess what? You get the full breadth and power of the Heroku developer experience, including third-party add-ons. Heroku Connect enables two types of data integration, bi-directional data synchronization and data virtualization. Synchronization is supported for all common Salesforce objects and data types. Data virtualization is done via a built-in OData 4.0 service. And when you think about scalability to handle high traffic demands, Heroku Connect handles billions of transactions easily. Connect also offers a Heroku Shield version, which enables you to build high compliance applications. So let's take a quick look at Heroku Connect. What you're looking at is the Heroku dashboard. This is where most teams start their day as they log into Heroku and can view all apps and activity. Let's scroll down and find Heroku Connect, which we added using the Heroku Elements Marketplace. What you're seeing now is our Heroku Connect dashboard. Here you get an overview of your Heroku Connect integration with Salesforce data. Let's see some of this data by clicking on Mappings. Here are some of the different objects we've connected between Salesforce and Heroku. We can dive a bit deeper and see what data is actually being mapped by clicking into our contact object. Now we have a view of all the data being mapped for this contact object. Great. Our data is synced, we have over 300 rows of data integrated, and if we scroll down, we'll see all the different fields we've mapped to this object. 